I'm really excited to tell you about this super bright street light. All right, so let's take a look at the BNT 800 watt dual sided charging street light. Okay, so you can see it has a solar panel on either side. We have the LED bulbs, I believe, on this side here. We will turn it on. Let's see what happens. Okay, so if I had to describe this, I would say it's medium weight, but well-built, hard plastic. You have the panels on both sides. It's sturdy. I don't doubt that it's going to hold up. Also, we have about a, like a medium thickness here. Uh, the nice thing with it being sturdy yet lightweight is wherever you're attaching it to, it's, you know, there's less stress on that particular joint. So we're going to actually uh, screw this in flush like so, uh, but you can also put it on a pole with the right brackets and things like that. I'm going to install this in just a second. To give you a bird's eye view, I'm going to get my drone out and film it from there. Uh, going to install it in a tree actually behind me, but just a few basics before I put it up there. Uh, the side here with the light sensor and the on off button is the bottom. So we're gonna place it like that. We're gonna mount it like this. I'm sorry, we have this on backwards. So we want to mount it like that. So this bracket will aim it upward like so. So the first step will be to mount this and then we'll come slide this on and then we'll put the bolt in and secure it. That's it. It looks like four bolts will go into the tree and then one bolt will go here and we're all set. Well, I'm on the ladder here and all I'm doing is screwing in the four bolts. Uh, if you have a way to get a second set of hands to hold up the bar for you, it'd be easier. But with the light weight of the bar and mount, it's completely manageable and you can do it yourself. Next thing you'll want to do is slide on the light fixture itself onto the pole and make sure the holes line up. Once you find the holes lining up, you'll thread through the bolt and then place the nut on the top and simply screw it in with a Phillips head screwdriver. I installed this solar street light yesterday and now it's time to test it out. Let's go up and we'll see what this looks like. Let me walk into the dark here. Okay, and we're gonna use the remote control to turn it on. And we have a ton of light flooding a very large perimeter of the backyard, very well lit. I know the camera adjusts a little bit strange uh, to this, but I, hoping you can see the difference and you can see the brightness of those 800 watts. The setting I want to use is the two hours of light and then motion sensor. So a little bit of a security blanket once uh, we get deeper into the evening. So we're gonna go over here and we're gonna turn it on that setting. So it's confirming that it is going to turn on for the two hours. And then after two hours, it will shut off and anytime motion is detected from an animal or anything like that, it'll go off. All right, guys, so final verdict on this light, easy to install. It's definitely medium weight, very sturdy too, and uh, easy to install, like just so simple to install. Four bolts, it's up there. Put it anywhere you like. Uh, you'll get more light throw the higher you uh, raise it up. Mine, again, as I said, is, is on the low end of the spectrum, but still very happy with the amount of light that it's throwing there. Uh, remote works as it should. This is infrared, so you're going to need to be underneath it to use the functionality and set it up. Now, uh, I'm just going to set it and uh, leave it at that. I'm going with the two hour on with then the motion for the rest of the evening. And uh, that should be that. So I don't see myself using the remote a lot, but if you do need to go turn it on, you just walk out and turn it on like so. Overall, really like the product. Didn't have to run any wires. Very simple. And don't hesitate to recommend it.